Good looks may last, right? People may re remember that. Being captured on TV or film, it may last. But I'm telling you, what's on the inside is what's truly going to show forth on the outside. And that will leave a much more indelible lasting impression than your looks. You dig? Yo, what it do, what it do. Good morning all. Just wanna come on real quick on this, you know, Testify Tuesday, just share with y'all this morning about appearance, right? God is not so much concerned with our outer appearance as he is with our heart, you dig? Because, you know, we spend so much time sprucing up ourselves, so much time making sure our hair is right, you know, our, our eyes and, and eyebrows is on fleek, you know, making sure our beards is tight and our teeth is, is white and our hair is straight, you know, we looking fly and smelling good, you know what I'm saying, feeling confident. All that's great. All that's gravy. But God is not concerned about how you look. Oh, yeah. He's not concerned about your appearance. How do I know this? Because you, God will take a person with all kind of face tattoos and piercings and hair looking crazy. You know, teeth may be jacked up from, you know, whatever they might have been using when they was out there in the world. They just look toe up, right? Someone that you would never think that would be preaching the word and God will take that very person. Save them, clean them up, fill them with the anointing of the Holy Spirit and preach out the ever loving mind. Preach you happy. But initially, when you look at them, their appearance, you wouldn't give him the first time of day. You might even cross the street if you see him. You did. Listen, man. Let me just share this with y'all real quick, right? Because when you look at people just from appearances, you'll be messed up. Real talk, right? Because we judge people based upon what we think looks good to us, <laughs> right? And if it looks good to us and meets our standard of what we believe is acceptable, what we believe is nice looking or exceptional, then that becomes the standard. That makes it okay, right? If you look the part, you smell the part, you know, you, you even speak the part. That makes it okay. But yet you can be as ugly and as rotten as a rotten apple on the inside. Oh, you can look the part on the outside, smell good, you, you talk well, but eventually, check it out, that rottenness is going to come out because what's on the inside is going to come out. So don't get caught up on appearances. These people on TV that we see, you know, these athletes have got a lot of money, you know, they look a certain way. A lot of people have surgeries to look a certain way. You know what I'm saying? So again, just let me encourage you not to get off on looks, man, because looks can be deceiving. You dig? Real talk. But if you focus on a person's heart, right, and you're not concerned about how they look, then you're not worried about if your hair is totally straight or, or you're not worried about, you know, if your makeup is flawless. You're not worried about, you know, how your pants, if your pants got a hole or your, or your shirt may not be iron. You're not worried about if you ain't comb your hair perfect. You feel me? Because you worrying about your insides. You worrying about what's on the inside and how does that look to God? That's what he's pleased with. When you look beautiful on the inside, that's what you ought to want people to show and see on the outside. You dig? Because that's what's going to last. So again, man, God don't care about what you look on the outside. He cares about your heart. He cares about your soul. He cares about how you represent him and reflect him on the inside. You dig? Okay. Let's take Paul for an example. Right? Paul was confident. Paul was, you know, it, he cared about how things appeared. 
right? That's why he persecuted Christians so hard and so heavily, right? Because to him, you look one way on the outside, but you're not operating, you're not doing what the scriptures say. So your, your, the look that you're portraying doesn't match how you're supposed to be walking it out. So he was killing folks. Okay, I'll give you another example. Let's take Saul, right? Yeah, King, King Saul. He looked good. He was tall. He was handsome. He looked manly and debonair, you know, had long flowing hair, right? He had all these things going on. But, and the people said, oh, that's who we want to be king because he looked like royalty. He, he, he looked like he could play the part. But we all know that when the rubber met the road, he couldn't handle it, right? God didn't care about how he looked kingly wise, right? Authoritative wise. God cared about, are you going to be obedient and do what I tell you to do, right? So when we talk about looks, man, and appearances, you know, you got to be really careful not to be fooled because the Bible says that wolves, they come in sheep's clothing. So you can't look at the outer appearance of a person. You have to weigh the heart. You have to weigh the, their integrity. <laughs> you did. You have to weigh what they say. Do what they say. Line up with their actions. You dig? You can look good all is out. I mean, you can look like a million bucks. You know, you could be Instagram model famous looking. <laughs> you dig? But if your integrity, man, doesn't match those looks or if your looks are so deceiving that when people hear you, when you open your mouth or they see your actions, you know, they they see how you get down, how you treat other people and how you talk to other people. Man, your looks ain't going to mean nothing because what's on the inside is going to come out. I know we've heard that all our lives, but let me say it again. What's on the inside? It's going to come out. So if you ugly on the inside, you know, if you toe up from the floor up on the inside, you know what I'm saying? If, 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 if God don't want to touch you with a 10 foot pole on the inside, yo, stop with all the primping and priming and all the, you know, trying to, you know, look to live your best life and really work on the insides. Oh, work on your spirit, work on your soul, work on your heart, work on your attitude. So you really can be living your best life. You dig? Yo, I wasn't going to be before you long. I just wanted to come on real quick on this Testify Tuesday while it's early, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know y'all still getting up, still getting ready. You know, listen to this while you're getting ready. And hopefully it'll change your perspective and give you a greater enlightening. You know what I'm saying? Look good. Feel good. Smell good. You know what I'm saying? Have a good disposition, a good attitude. You know, let your heart look the same way you do on the outside. Let your responses look just as good as you do on the outside. Let your love and your humility smell just as good as you do on the outside, you dig? Yo, this is your man, LeVon. This has been your Testify Tuesday, you dig? Share this video. You know what I'm saying? Like this video. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you turn on notifications so you're always notified whenever I upload content. It's your man, LeVon. One love. I'm out. Don't forget Lamele E. Love, uplift, motivate, inspire, learn, laugh, encourage, and enlighten. Lamele.com. Your man, LeVon. One love.